Do you feel stuck? Some part of your life just passing you up? Do you try hard and seem to get nowhere pretty fast? I'll cut to the chase. I promise no hype, no fluff. Just how to fast track making decisions that change stuff. I'll teach you a four-step decisions made simple template. It'll be invaluable to your life when you learn how to zap confusion with present decisions, zap doubt with priority decisions, zap regrets with brain decisions, and zap settling with spiritual decisions. You see, it's so vitally important because each decision is like a stepping stone that determines your life's direction. So let's just take a moment now to check the movie screen of your life. Where are your decisions and thoughts taking you? It's either or. There really are no holding patterns. You are either sinking with confusion, doubt, and regrets, are soaring with confidence. That's where it all got started. I was sinking. In fact, I bottomed out. I was discouraged with my traditional private practice, trying to teach others what I couldn't accomplish for my own life. I was steeped in indecisiveness, confusion, and overwhelm. That was over 15 years ago now. I fired myself from my private practice, drug my psychologist husband with me in search of what works. We found more than we dreamed for our lives as well as those we teach. We've taught thousands of students techniques that take minutes to learn and use with results that defy psychological and medical limits. It's called brain-body balance using brain feng shui techniques. The goal and results are always the same. To delete what stops you at the deep unconscious level so that you show up present without a struggle and without waiting. Discover and delete what stops you. And from that place, it's easy then to learn the past purpose so that you don't re repeat it in the future. The future is only to dream prosperity with no limits. You have about 70,000 thoughts a day. Isn't it time you take back your decision-making thoughts? Because each decision sets the course of your life. Remember a time when you were driving or hiking? One slight deviation from the course zapped the dreams of your destination and it took extra time to recoup when it would might have been so easy to go the direct path to the destination your highest good it's so much easier to make the right decision so that you enjoy the journey instead of confused and doubt and regret that you took the wrong path. And you can enjoy the scenery because life is not a destination. It unfolds each moment. Right decisions can be hard, if not impossible, so it's easy to go off course. It may not be true for you, but I was brought up in a time that kids were to be seen and not heard. I don't recall a class in any of my education from kindergarten to my master's degree that was about decision making. So my abilities were quite limited. It was often as if I reached in a grab bag and chose whatever came up first. And then I'd get really confused about other things like how to shop for a pair of shoes. I had to see them all so I wouldn't make a mistake. And I think you can relate. Another reason decisions are hard are because we make them based on a guess at best. The real power of decision making is, comes from a place 
called present. It's where your life is. You have 100% choice there, this moment. You have a choice about your beliefs, thoughts, and feelings, and your body. And these decisions changing you first from the inside out so that you heal, attract, and create prosperity effortlessly. Right decisions are made inside where you have 100% power, 100% choice over your beliefs, thoughts, feelings, and body energy that then affects the outside. The fastest way to your highest good is from the inside. Another reason decisions can be hard, if not impossible, Check your thoughts that create your decisions for the past hour. Fear-based thoughts leave present and resist it. Instead, they lag back into the past to fret and regret or leap into the future to strive and control. When you leave present, you really are guessing your way. Truth is, right decisions just can't be made for the past. The past is history. It's just a memory. You can't go there, and it doesn't exist. The past can only teach you what did not work so that you can avoid mistakes and make better decisions for the present moment and the future. so that you can avoid mistakes and make better decisions for the present moment and not repeat them for the future. Truth is, right decisions cannot be made for the future. The future is mystery. It's just a dream. You can only make decisions in the present moment, decisions to move you closer to your future dreams. And another truth is that right decisions can only be made in the present moment because that really is all there is. This requires you to be flexible to adapt to life as it unfolds each moment, revealing new information in the moment and new options based on truth found only in the present. The need to know the future is fear-based. It's impossible. It zaps faith and trust, and it limits possibilities. It literally gets you nowhere. Now let's consider what does work. Imagine decisions made simple with confidence, being present, love. It's life's only equal playing field. Present is all you were created to handle. Present love is your connection to higher guidance. It's life's universal and only purpose. The present is the only stress-free safe zone. It's where you have 100% choice and power. It's your source of prosperity. Present is where you attract and create effortlessly. And present love heals all. When you miss the present, you literally miss your life's highest good. Let's get started with the four-step Decisions Made Simple template to zap confusion, doubt, and regrets. Think of a question that you have on your mind, a decision that you need to make. And the one we'll use here is, let's pretend we're in the grocery store and we have a choice. We can buy apples or potato chips. Which choice will we make? 
and we'll use that one as an example as we go through the questions. So the first thing we do is prepare our inner space with three A's to make present decisions. The first A is aware. What is the present moment? Be where you are. No flying leaps. Again, if you miss the present, you just missed your life. The second A to prepare your inner space is accept what is the present. That requires you to be open and curious to let go of what you think you know. Harvard University Research found that openness is the number one trait of successful people. The next A is act. Shift present. Act from this place. Start where you are. Be responsible and motivated. So to review the three A's to prepare your inner space to make present decisions. Aware, what is present moment? Be where you are. Accept what is the present moment. Be open and curious. Act, make decisions in the present moment. Be responsible and motivated. Step two in the decision-making process. The decisions made simple are three priority questions to simplify your decisions. And these three priority questions eliminate 80% of confusion, doubt, and regrets. Priority question number one to simplify decision. What is my part? Don't kid yourself. Do I have a role or am I meddling? Now let's take the apple versus the potato chip in the grocery store. I'm the one doing the shopping and I have a hundred percent part. I'm not meddling. It's my groceries and my list. Second priority question, what is my power? Am I even capable? Well, the example we're using, yes, I have power and I am capable. Third priority question, what is my purpose? What is my goal and desired outcome? Do I want to be healthy or do I want food that tastes good? Do I want to satisfy my cravings or strengthen my body? Let's go over those questions again and consider the decision you need to make. What is my part? What is my power? What is my purpose and desired outcome? The three P questions eliminate 80% of decisions that are not yours to make. Step number three are three brain questions for confident decisions. The first brain question, is this a need or a desire? Are the potato chips a need or desire? And what about the apple? And it's really clear. Needs are priority and they must be met first. And then yes, we can have our desires as well after needs are met. Next brain question. Am I closed or open to brainstorm all options? Well, in the grocery store, I could consider something I like far better, which are berries, and pick another option. Or I could decide I want nuts or vegetables. I can brainstorm all options. 
And then with each option, am I willing to think it through? And you can use the word, then what? So if we chose the potato chips, then what? Then what? And then what? Salt creates more cravings, creates more fat cells, creates more of what I don't want. And then we could then what the apple. I might eat part of it, but not the whole thing. Then what? Then I might not look so forward to the next one. And then what? And then what? It would help my body to have energy and give me strength. It would help my body to be healthy. But then I could choose another option, which are berries that I look forward to eating. They're antioxidants, more so than apples, and they too could make my body healthy. So I have options. Is what you need to decide a need or a desire? Are you close to options or open? Have you really thought them through well? The fourth and final step in the Decision Made Simple template are three spiritual questions that connect you to your guidance system. Decisions based on truth for your highest good. The first question, am I being truthful, especially with myself? Think about your decision and let's think about the grocery store decision. Am I being truthful if I tell myself that potato chips are a vegetable? I pay a great price if I compromise the truth. Am I present love connected to the guidance system of truth? There's only one connection. It's not in the past. It's not in the future. It's present. I kind of think of it like a control tower to an airplane. I'm the pilot. And if I dare eject, I have no connection to guidance. And when I get in a whiteout, I don't know if you've ever been in one, they're not fun. You cannot tell if you're up or down or sideways, and your choices are very limited. I just read a story about a pilot with no instrument panel. He got disoriented and was flying upside down. He decided by hunches that he would lift up. And of course, that sent him plummeting down. We really do need to be connected to a higher source of guidance that can see the way. Am I deciding with confidence because I deserve the very best? If so, the decision can be, be made very quickly if all three of these spiritual questions receive a yes answer. Consider your question that you have on your mind for this exercise. Are you being truthful, especially with yourself? Are you being present, connected to the guidance system of truth? Are you deciding? And now consider your question as we review the three spiritual questions that connect you to guidance. Am I being truthful, especially with myself? Am I being present in the moment childlike faith connected to the guidance system of truth to guide my way? Am I deciding because I deserve the highest good and the very best choice? If you could answer yes to all these questions, you can make your decision with confidence and you can make it quickly. 
if you hesitate and you're confused, have some doubt, and fear that you'll regret the decision, repeat the entire template. Brainstorm all the questions again and choose another option. Pick options and ask the questions until you get all yeses that confirm the decision is right for you in the present moment. That decision will move you one decision at a time as life unfolds closer to your future dreams. Decisions made outside are a guess at best. Your life is up for grabs. You have little power or choice. But decisions made inside in the present set you free to soar. You have a 100% choice, a 100% power over everything inside, moving outside, changing the world around you. It's the fastest way to your highest good. So to review for a moment, decide today to check the movie screen of your life for your daily decisions often and take back your decision to soar and do it one decision at a time. It helps to take an index card along with you with the template questions written so that you begin to memorize them and soon after use, your brain makes decisions using them without your conscious awareness. It makes life so much easier. So here's to making decisions to soar. You can get started now and check out more brain body balance technique techniques today. The decision making template has been a conscious level technique. For the most part, brain body balance techniques cut deep into the unconscious, yet they're so simple a child can do them for fast lasting change. In fact, you can't do the techniques and stay the same. Brain body balance techniques help you discover, delete, and design your inner space. Brain body balance techniques are fast, easy, and lasting so easy a child can do them, yet the results are amazing. You cannot do the techniques and stay the same. Dr. Serena Reeb described it this way. I'm amazed at the surgical precision with which Elizabeth Harrison approaches your past wounds and the gaping holes in your heart and soul. And just as amazingly, she quickly cuts off those blood-sucking, life-choking parasites to free you from their grip. I have personally experienced the wonder and healing abilities of the techniques she has created. I hope you too will have the good fortune to work with her and reclaim your future like I did. If you too would like to experience the benefits and results, you can go to my website, bringbodybalance.com, or just click on the button, and it'll take you to more information about a teleclass called Brain Feng Shui, helping you discover, delete, and declutter your brain space disorder so that you sink and align with the power to heal, attract, and create effortlessly. Thank you so much for joining me, and here's to great decision-making.